Hi, good evening, saints. I have a book review here by uh, John G. Hall. This is God's Dispensational and Prophetic Plan. Um, it's a book uh, put out by just his ministry. And it's not very thick. It's only like 200 pages. It's a 200-page book. And you would think that a work like this, being on, the, on dispensationalism... In prophecy, <clears throat> that the book could easily have been 600, 700 page book. But being at this length, uh, it's more like an overview book. Uh, he does give detail in the book, but it's more of an overview. But it's a very, very good phenomenal. And this book actually is supposed to, um, it's to be read with his other book, um, on Daniel and Revelation, which is called Prophecy Marches On. That one deals more with prophecy. This one is dealing more with dispensationalism. And this guy, John G. Hall, deserves uh, more attention. Uh, he's one of those hidden, you could say, obscure dispensationalists. And this book, along with his other book, Prophecy Marches On, is designed to be read with this chart. And if you have not seen my video where I do a quick... Um, review of this chart you can uh, check that out and the book is designed along with the other book to be read and used a lot to study along with this chart that he designed himself and this is the personal size which is like 50 inches across they only have two sizes uh, the 50 inch or it's this size or sorry the 50 inch which is this size and then they have a big like 50 footer which is really intended for like more like teaching um, and you can get his, his material at John G. Hall Ministries.com. And that's on, uh, right here. If you want to pause the video, John G. Hall Ministries.com. That's where his books are. And you can get that there. And his other book is called Prophecy Marches On Studies in Daniel Revelation, now available in one volume. And that one has a bit more pages. But for being a 200-page book, I have to admit, this is a very, very good book. Um, he shows you how to rightly divide the Bible, understanding the dispensations. And uh, it is a very good book. And I'm so surprised at how many, uh, how he's just so obscure. Not many people know about him. And uh, he was um, an Assemblies of God evangelist, and I believe pastor as well. So denominationally, that's where he belonged. So he was a uh, charismatic like myself. Um, and no, I don't belong to the Assemblies of God denomination. I'm a, a Calvary Chapel guy. But uh, nevertheless, besides his denominational background, he... Uh, wrote a very, very good book on the seven dispensations found in Scripture. And as you can see, the last page is uh, 200 pages. And this one has the feature, it's a feature edition, which adds, uh, they added this section, the questions and answers, where he answers some of the most common questions, and then he has the index section. So see, these are the chapters. He has the God of creation, the creation, chaos, and restoration, the dispensation of innocence. And he goes through all the dispensations. And then he has the major prophecies of Daniel, dispensation of grace, sanctification, justification. So besides um, him talking about the dispensation, he does talk about other topics of interest along with his book. Like you have sanctification, justification. Um, the Transfiguration, Crucifixion, the Ascension of Christ. He has an overview of the book of Revelation. And then you have the Perfect Age, the Five Underworld Departments, which you can find right here. And uh, you can always look that up along with your chart. If you have it, I highly recommend having the book along with the chart so you can study it together. The Seven Judgments, God's Word versus Evolution Theories. Now, there are two things I do not agree with the author in this book. He has a chapter called Eternal Security Without Obedience Scripturally Refuted. Now, I mean, you could still obviously read the chapter, but he has this idea of being an Assemblies of God. 
which the assemblies of God do believe you can lose salvation. He has this script, or sorry, this chapter where he tries to refute it scripturally, and uh, he doesn't do a good job on that because you can't refute that doctrine. The doctrine of eternal security is one hundred percent biblical, and uh, anybody that says otherwise is just teaching false doctrine. Every believer is eternal secure. For Ephesians five, uh, Ephesians four thirty, Ephesians one thirteen. Many scriptures that show clearly that the believer is eternally secure. And his other, and the other area of disagreement I have is he believed the church began with the apostles. I don't know how you can come to that conclusion when we know for, clear from scripture that the the church actually began in Acts chapter two, not with the apostles. But other than that, don't let that don't let that uh, stop you from buying the book. The, like I said, the book is very very good. The author does a very good on rightly dividing the Bible, the dispensation. He talks about prophecy. He talks about other areas of interest, as I just read. Um, you can really greatly benefit from this book. I've benefited from this book. The author is very very. Uh, John G. Hall was a very. Uh, uh, very observant and things I didn't even see. I mean, I was reading the part um, on the dispensation of um, innocence, and he talks about the Adam and Eve in that dispensation. There's things I missed that I didn't even, I wouldn't probably not have seen on my own that he pointed out very well in the temptation of, of Satan towards uh, Eve and then eventually Adam. Um, there's some things there he said that really just caught my interest that I had not seen before. Uh, but he's a very, very good, he was a very good teacher because he passed away already, but um, very good. If you don't know anything about dispensationalism, highly recommend getting you, that you get this book. And uh, he has predestination. No, he was not a uh, Calvinist, if you're wondering. Um, and then God's financial plan for his people. Then he shows uh, how tithing um under the law, in the law, and then in grace. So the tithing, uh, although the tithing system was done away with on the cross, the tithing principle is still in effect even today in our dispensation. When you pray, believe, and then questions and answers. But uh, his chapters are pretty short. They're not like anything long. Um, and something that I love about the book is he gives you so much scripture to back up everything he says. I mean, he gives you scripture after scripture, and I don't go through all the scriptures that he gives just because I do not have the time, um, but I do look up some of the scriptures he references, but that's one thing that I like about the author is that he, does a, he, he gives you a plenty of scriptures to look up and what he talks about, and uh, that's pretty much the book. You just have to buy the book in order to see how good the book is. Highly recommend this. Um, if you do not know what dispensationalism is, and you're curious or just don't know what it is and what it is, I highly recommend you this book, God's Dispensation Prophetic Plan by John G. Hall. Highly recommend it. Even if you're a seasoned saint and you still don't know, or you are already know. I, th I still think this book is great for new believers as well as uh, seasoned saints. Very, very good book. You will greatly benefit from this. And just remember, and I highly recommend that you buy as well his chart. So as you study the book, you can always go back to the chart and look up all the stuff um, that he's talking about. Let's so see, you have the uh, dispensation of conscience, human government. Dispensation of promise, law, so on and so forth. So, uh, highly recommend this book. So that's all, folks. Thank you for watching. God bless.